Yo, what's up everybody? I just got approved to do a huge mural downtown and this whole week is gonna be basically me documenting making that. Let me show you the design real quick. So I live in the Southwest and I had this idea about a guitar kind of looks like a saguaro cactus that we have down here. I really want the guitar itself to be very clean and vibrant and basically I decided that I should do it like Banksy and just use a stencil. But that means that this stencil here is 16 to 17 feet. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we have the stencil. Here's the body of it. And then if you come over here, you can see the arms and the main trunk of the guitar. And then over there, I have the five foot sun. Now all I gotta do is cut it. Okay, so here's the piece I just cut out. And I'll save these three pieces as templates later, but basically I can come through now and just spray paint that on the wall and it'll get a nice clean edge around everything. So I'll go ahead and do the rest on these three or four pieces up here and the stencils will be done. Also the X-Acto knife made it way easier to cut this than the scissors did. So for the sun piece here, I need a perfect circle and I projected it, but it didn't quite come out just right. So what I did is I found the middle right here and taped it down and then I tied this marker to it and what I'm gonna do is just basically spin it around and it's gonna follow that middle part just right and then I'll have a perfect circle by the time I'm done okay they're all cut out and ready now we're gonna go paint the background This wall is really high up actually. Okay, here, so I've got my computer rigged up to my projector, which is dummy taped to my tripod here. And there is the painting right there. Okay, so I've got chalk taped to the end of this uh, paint pole here, and I've got it projected up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along the red ridge line and the purple ridge line and then we'll be able to just pop in the blue purple and red whenever we're ready the purple try to make sure it lines up just like you like you don't need a perfect line we're just trying to get the overall idea of the mountains in and i will fix it later in post or in paint okay so we got the truck ready and we are going to go back here We've got the lights set up, and here's our wall. I'm about to this bucket truck up to the corner right here, and we're gonna make a nice clean line where the, where the mural stops. Stops. So here I've got my I've got a, a string with a piece of the roll of tape to the bottom. What I'm doing is I'm gonna use this to give me a totally straight flat line, and I'm gonna tape it. So when I pull the tape away at the end of the painting, we have a perfectly straight line on the side of the mural. Okay, so this is where we left off last night. I didn't get enough blue paint. And so I went and got some this morning. I'm gonna throw that on. And then I'm just gonna try to fill in all the cracks to make sure we've got a perfect background layer. All right, so I just finished the first coat of blue. As you can see, it's not all the way you know, covering everything on the wall. So I'm gonna go and do a second coat of this blue. If it's not absolutely clean, it wouldn't look good in the, for the sky. Um, all those cracks, like, again, they're basically with a brush and do it. And then I'll fill in the major cracks that I missed last night in the purple and the red, and then the background will be done. So this entire wall has had little holes like this into pockets of brown throughout the and this is my technique basically to get it. Yeah, brushing it doesn't work. This is all I got. Okay, so I've got some marks here that tell me where the edge of the neck is and where the second neck comes out so I can try to get that circle around it. 
We're gonna hop up in the bucket now and try to do this. So I've got my son up and we're gonna put the level right on it. I'm gonna call that level. So now all the stripes will be just right. All right, first two coats on. Okay, so we've got the sun up now and I'm about to go to town on the neck right here with spray paint. And then we'll see how that goes. That's facing. All right, so at this point, we've got the three arms on, and we're going to go ahead and try to spray paint the body. Tape up the middle of it so I can kind of have guiding lines on where I was going to put all the guitar strings on the cactus. Okay, so I got all the lines on the guitar. All I got to do left is put the white on, but I am freezing, so I'm just going to go to bed. Okay, so final day of the mural. We're just going to go ahead and outline the sun and everything else with a white outline and then do some touch up and sign it. Okay, so the clear coat is on and it's signed down here. This mural is officially done. Thanks for following along. Let's do another one sometime. <laughs>